In this video, we're going to talk about how Guitar Pro 6 handles new tracks and instruments. In Guitar Pro 5, it was possible to change instruments any time during the project on the same track. Guitar Pro 6 works a little bit differently. The notation used for every track is going to be assigned as you are creating the track. Let's create, for example, a new track to which we'll assign some drums. To create a new track, we're going to go into the Track menu, Add. We're going to select the Drums instrument. And as you can see, the notation on the screen corresponds to the drum notation. The drum notation cannot be changed to a tablature, simply because drums are not a fretted instrument. Let's try creating a new track, and this time we're going to create a piano track. I'll select the piano instrument, and as you can see, it's the standard notation that Guitar Pro 6 is going to use for this piano track. Let's enter a few notes on the first bar of our piano track. Let's now try to transform this bar, which is written in notation that is a standard notation, into a tablature. To do this, we're going to have to create a new track by going into the track menu, add, and here we're going to enter a fretted instrument. Let's enter a six string guitar. Now I'm going to place the cursor on the first bar of the piano track. I'm going to select the notes that have been entered. I'm going to copy these notes by using the edit menu, copy. Then I'll place the cursor on the first bar of my guitar track, which is a tablature track. Go into the Edit menu and use the Paste function. We now transcribed our piano track into a traditional tablature notation. Anytime you want to switch from a standard notation to a tab, you're going to have to create a new fretted instrument track and copy from the standard notation to the tablature. For those of you who would rather work with tablature exclusively, it is possible to simply create fretted instrument tracks so that you have the tablature view and simply change the sound of that track in the instrument panel to whichever instrument you want to use, whether it's a fretted instrument or a non-fretted instrument.